Ole Miss, 31, Texas A&M, 28. Now let's pull up the stat sheet for you. This was a tight ball game. A&M won yards per play. Uh, Ole Miss won total yards. 83 plays and 73 plays for Ole Miss. Um, passing down success was Ole Miss, but standard down success was A&M. I mean, they had over a 54% standard down success rate in this game. They had a 46.58% success rate overall in this game. Like, this A&M looked good. I liked what Connor Wigman was doing. Like, this looked like a, a pretty competent football team again. You see the win probability went back and forth in this spot. Like, this was a good, tight ball game, and Ole Miss just found ways to win. Uh, Jackson Dart only had to throw the ball 20 times. Uh, Quinshawn Judkins, 34 carries for 205 yards. He averaged six yards a carry and ran it 34 times. Uh, Double O'Neill jumped in, said, good game, A&M hung in there, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, no, they absolutely hung in there because Connor Wigman, 28 out of 44, 338 yards, four touchdowns. Like, he was good. Like, ridiculously good, especially for a true freshman making his first ever start. A-Chain had a fantastic night, 25 carries for 138 yards. He also had seven catches, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Like, this was awesome. You could tell that the... The player that the two players that Wigman had the most connection with, the most chemistry with, were uh, Moose Muhammad and Evan Stewart. Like those two, he was constantly looking for those guys and was able to find them. Like this, Wigman, I think, is going to be good. The issue that you've got here is sack adjusted rushing yards in this game. Ole Miss had 399 sack adjusted yards. Like that's, that's awesome. And, a, oh, excuse me, A&M only had 151. Like, when you can dominate on the ground like that, it changes everything. This whole thing was changed up here. So I I was a little shocked at how easily Ole Miss was able to run on the, on the ground. But, man, Lane Kiffin, he said 390 rushing yards against a bunch of five stars is pretty good. So he's throwing shade at the recruiting class, of course. And uh, and then when he was asked who he was going to be for Halloween, he came out and said, maybe Jimbo's got a Joker outfit for me. Like, Lane Kiffin throwing shade, like, you know that he enjoyed the hell out of that one, headed into the bye week. He was, it was awesome. Uh, two good teams, Double O'Neill said, two good teams I would not want to play. Don't get all the hate from people. Uh, yeah, it's true. Like, it, this... I'll tell you this, a and I don't think is a great team. Uh, I don't think I don't even think they're really all that good. But I'll tell you this, they are certainly better with Wigman at quarterback than they are with anybody else. Haynes King, Max Johnson, whatever. This this freshman it looked to me to be the real deal. So uh, props to A&M for hanging in there, but maybe more so props to Ole Miss for, uh, for getting that thing done. Is it fun win? Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.